Hello friends, today we will see how to design a DFA for this particular problem statement. The first problem statement is ending with 1 and the second one is ending with 1 0. So first we will see ending with 1. So here when I say ending with 1, it means that the input you are going to process 0 and 1. Might we say suppose 0, 0, 0, 1. So the string is ending with 1 means the machine should enter into the final state. Might be possible it have the input that is 1 0 1 0 again the string is ending with 1. 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 again the string is ending with 1 means here you are going to consider the string that is a combination of 0 and 1 and the string must always ends with 1. If the string is not ending with 1, say suppose these 3, the machine should enter into the final state. If I having the input that is 1, 0, the machine should not enter into the final state. So how to design the machine? The first basic concept is nothing but the string is ending with 1. So you start with the initial state that is Q0. Process, consider I having just only a 1, only 1 I having the input. So in a Q0 state by processing 1, I can reach to the next state that is to a Q1 state. So Q1 state is nothing but it's your final state if I having the input just only one. Now consider the combination might be possible the string may starts with a zero and it may follow with multiple zero. So here in a Q0 state you are going to process the zero and it will going to remain there only. Why? Because might be the occurrences of 0, maybe 0 or more. So here in a Q0 state, you are going to process a 0 and it, you are going to remain into the same state that is a Q0 state. Next consider if I having the input that is 0, 1, uh, by processing 0, I remain into the Q0 state. By processing 1 in Q0 state, I will reach to the Q1 state. In Q1 state, if it is having 0, so the machine should not enter into the final state. So Again, by processing 0, it will going to return back to a Q0 state means it can have a multiple 0 also. So you have to process again revert back to a Q0 state. Might be after 1, 0 means in Q0 state by processing 1, it reached to Q1 state and in Q1 state by processing 0, again it will return back to a Q0 state. After that again, it may have a multiple times 1. Again, the string is ending with 1. So here in a Q1 state, the occurrences of 1, it should be there and it should remain into the same state that is to a Q1 state. So now if you consider any of the input, any of the input which is ending with 1, the machine halts in a final state that is into a Q1 state. If the string is not ending with 1, so the machine it is be there in a Q0 state. This is all about ending with 1. What about ending with 1 0? So now ending with 1 0. So what will be the input? My input ending with end with 1 0. So the string may be 0 0 1 0. It is ending with 1 0. Might be the string may starts with 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. Again, it is ending with 1, 0. Might be 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Again, the string is ending with 1, 0. Means you have to design the DFA in such a way that the string must accept ending with 1, 0. So how to start? Consider just only the string having 1, 0. Just only 1, 0. So for this the machine in a state Q0 you are going to process 1 the first one this one and it will going to reach to the next state that is to a Q1 state. In a Q1 state consider your next symbol is 0. So by processing 0 I will going to reach to the next state that is to a final state Q2 state. Why because 1 0 it is accepting. Now check the possibility. Now check the possibility of all string. Might be it be starts with 0, it will starts having the combination of 1 and 0. If the string may starts with 0, say suppose 0, 0, 1, 0, the machine should enter into the final state. So in Q0 state, 
I'm having the self loop of zero. Multiple times zero. Hmm? Zero, one, zero. Now consider if I'm having the string that is zero, one, and after that it may have multiple times one again zero. So in a Q1 state by processing one, it will reach from Q0 to Q1. What about this multiple ones? So this multiple ones, it may have the self loop of one in a Q1 state. Next consider the input say suppose by processing one, one, zero means Q0 to Q1 by processing one again in Q1 state, I will going to process one and after processing zero in Q1, I will reach to the Q2 state. What about if it is having a zero? The string should not enter into the final state. So in a Q1, Q2 state, by processing zero, again, it will return back to a Q0 state. What about the one? Say suppose one zero means by processing one, it will reach to Q1 state and by processing zero, it will reach to Q2 state. What about if it having again one zero in this way? So in Q2 state, by processing one, it will going to return back to a Q1 state. So this is a final machine for the string that is ending with one zero. So how to design the transition table? So transition table, so how many states we are having with input? So input we are having just only zero and one. So how many state we are having three state Q0, Q1, Q2, Q0 it's an initial state. So we are going to show the arrow and Q2 it's a final state. So we can have the star or a double circle. So in Q0 by processing zero, I remain into the same state by processing one, I reach to Q1 state. In Q1 state by processing zero, I reach to Q2 state and by processing one, I reach in, I will remain into the same state that is into the Q1 state. And last that is the final state Q2 state by processing zero, I reach to Q0 state and by processing one, I reach to Q1 state.